All right, we're going to solve a word problem with three unknowns, and we're going to use a linear equation in order to do it. Let's read the problem first. It says, Nicole, Boris, and Chow served a total of 130 orders Monday at the school cafeteria. Nicole served 10 more orders than Chow, and Boris served three times as many orders as Chow. How many orders did they each serve? Notice with all this information that we're given, we are not told anything about the amount of orders that Chow served. So we don't know anything about Chow's orders, therefore we're going to use the variable x to represent Chow's orders. We are told something about Nicole's orders, that there's, they number 10 more than Chow. So Chow's orders were x, 10 more than that is simply x plus 10. And we are also told that Boris served three times as many orders as Chow. If Chow served x amount of orders, Boris would have served three times x, which is 3x. Next up, we're given a piece of information at the beginning of the problem. It says Nicole, Boris, and Chow served a total of 130 orders, meaning that if you add up the number of Chow's orders, Nicole's orders, and Boris's orders, you would get 130. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to say x plus x plus 10 plus 3x equals 130. Now, notice that I use parentheses here. Please note that the parentheses do not signify any type of multiplication. I'm just trying to show that this first x represents Chow's orders, x plus 10 represents Nicole's orders, and 3x represents Boris's orders, and we're going to be adding them up. So what we're going to do in order to add up everything on the left side of the equation is to combine like terms. 1x plus 1x plus 3x adds up to 5x plus 10 equals 130. Next thing we want to do is get all the variables on one side of the equation and all the numbers on the other side of the equation. In order to do that, we're going to leave the variables here on the left because there's actually no variables on the right, so let's leave those on the left. If all our variables are on the left, we want to move our numbers to the right, so in order to do that, we're going to subtract 10 from both sides of the equation. Next up, we're going to bring down the 5x. Positive 10 and negative 10, they're going to add up to 0. So all we have left on the left side of the equation is positive 5x. 130 minus 10 is 120. Okay, so Next up, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 5 because the 5 is multiplying the x here. 5 divided by 5 divides to be 1, so we're left with 1x. And 120 divided by 5 is 24. So what we've now found out is that Chow served 24 orders. We know that Nicole served 10 more than that, so 24 plus 10 gets us 34. We know that Boris served three times as many as Chow, so we're gonna do three times 24, and three times 24 gets us 72. 24 plus 34 is 58, and 58 plus 72 is 130, so those answers are correct.